President Muhammad Buhari has approved the postponement of the 2023 population and housing census, earlier scheduled for 3 to 7 of May 2023. Now, uh, to a date that is being determined by the incoming administration. The president gave the approval after a meeting with some members of the Federal Executive Council and the chairman of the National Population Commission and his team at the presidential villa in Abuja on Friday the 28th of April 2023. Now, in arriving at the decision to postpone the census, the meeting reiterated the critical need for the conduct of a population and housing census 17 years after the last census to collect up-to-date data that will drive the developmental goals of the country and improve the living standard of the Nigerian people. Now, he also commended the methodology being put in place by the Commission to conduct accurate and reliable census, especially the massive deployment of technology that is capable of delivering world-class census and laying a sustainable basis for future censuses. Well, joining us to discuss this is Biada Shomi, he's a political analyst and a veteran journalist. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Shomi. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Great. Well, the president uh, and the presidency has, uh, they have underlined and emphasized the importance and the critical nature in which we need to make sure that we have this population census conducted. So my first question would be, why, why now shift it to the next administration when it's still within your purview to conduct it? Yeah, um, look, there, there's no doubt census is very important. It's critical to planning, um, national planning and planning at sub-national level uh, with a view to determine uh, or to predict what um, social infrastructures and educational and health needs to be provided over a period of time. So um, it's also a good predictor uh, to for the purpose of national planning to determine um, the level of growth that the economy must attain in order to co you know, uh, uh, create employment opportunities in, for the citizens. Know that it is very important. But this time around, these sensors, just like other ones, um, ran into a big itch. Um, there was a huge public distrust between the uh, populace and uh, government generally. And many people thought um, with the way many people came into the country from neighboring West African countries, and some of them have managed to obtain the national identity number. So they, 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 they began to query why the administration, which is on its last lap, uh, should have an interest in conducting census. There were also others who imputed motives, you know, uh, financial motives, in terms of maybe People wanted a payoff uh, from the economy, and that's why they do it. So it was becoming, you know, wrapped in a, in a crisis of trust and distrust. So because of that, um, it became inevitable that government has to postpone it, no matter um, what they think. Um, you can't rush it. Once it will run into, it will be totally discredited. We need to know the number of houses. Yes, obviously. But one thing we have not, we are running away from is the fact that we need to move away from the days of Jesus when heads are counted. You can easily use technology to do all these things, particularly. <laughs> I, 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 knew that you, I knew that you were going to say this, so uh, I was waiting for this point. We know that technology can do this, but we have had technology with us for so many years. In fact, under this whole administration, We've talked about technology and the use of technology, but how well have we used it? For example, I'm sure, Mr. Shomi, you can actually um, understand where I'm going. When you want to get your license renewed, you do biometrics. You want to get an ATM card, you go and capture. You want to register a SIM card, you do the same thing. Um, you want to get your NIN, you do this. It's the same process. So if we have this much data, and we've never used it, but we keep collecting this data and nothing is being done. Who's to say that we can do the same thing or deploy the same data uh, or technology in terms of our census? Why not revert to the same old, same old head counting? Yes, we, you are correct. Um, we've been collecting loads of data from uh, different people and storing them in different systems. What we've not done is to integrate all the systems together. Uh, for instance, there is no reason why your NIN cannot reveal your, the details of your bank account, or not 
exactly how much you have in the account, that you have an account in social place where your biometrics, you know, uh, has also been taken, or that you have a driving license, this is it. And it will give you all those information. It's not impossible. It's something being done elsewhere in other clients. Why we're not doing it, I don't understand. Then we also need to look at our laws in a way that we can ensure that um, the states can synchronize their database uh, through mutual um, agreement. For instance, um, if you commit a traffic offense in Lagos, all you simply need to do is move to Ogunwa or your state, you know, and change your registration. There is no way how uh, you'll be held accountable for that traffic offense once you are not doing, uh, you are not renewing your registration in Lagos. That should not be the case. It should be a situation where no matter where you go, you will still be made to pay the penalty which will be remitted to Lagos. So that will involve uh, legislation, it will also involve, you know, uh, negotiations and agreement amongst the government. So we still have some ways to go in terms of integrating our data in a way that we can uh, use it meaningfully. For me, I think the national identity number, NIN, is merely enough. With NIN, all what we need to do is get all Nigerians to register for NIN because it's unique. It's only unique to you. No one else can have it. Through that, you can easily predict the number of people living in a particular area. Um, unlike um, the current system where we want to do um, exact air count. In terms of the houses, they don't need to go too far. The state's government, well, I don't know whether it's universal in Nigeria, but at least in some states. I know in Lagos and Okun, uh, they have, they've already enumerated the houses. They all have identification numbers. So they know because they are paying land use charge. So they already know how many houses they have. So if this is the situation, we should encourage other state government to do the same thing mm. so that we already have the data for purpose of national planning. So I don't think we need to keep spending billions and trillions on uh, counting heads all the time. Nobody can have an exact, accurate number of anybody living anywhere, even in UK or US. What they do is uh, they, they use technology and use some other means to try and get an you know, average idea, you know, a clear idea of about how many people are living here. Not exactly the, say, the, the, the exact number of people living in any particular area. So that is why it's um, a bit strange that we are still thinking in the midst of our economic crisis to spend uh, over a trillion, you know, on, on this exercise rather than uh, put it into the economy, provide infrastructure and use some other means to collect the data which are badly needed. Let's talk about the politics of this. Um, as much as, you know, um, the director of the National po uh, Population Commission, um, Inua Dalingo, has said that um, the reason why government is postponing this is because of the post-election mood in the country. And you talked about the fact that there's a trust deficit. Um, but this cancellation, again, there's always been that politics side to our numbers across the country, especially when we talk about the North. Um, many people have debated um, why some of these numbers are inflated, allegedly, because they want to use it for political reasons. And we have just come out of an election that has raised all sorts of eyebrows and, and, and has, you know, envisaged all kinds of comments. Um, with the push of this census, who's to say that the incoming administration would prioritize it? And again, how can we get that trust deficit to be turned, you know, to get a U-turn of sorts so that people can begin to trust the numbers. People can begin to um, be certain that when government says this is a thing, it actually is that, as opposed to always, you know, giving a side eye to it. Yes, um, no doubt it has its own usefulness, uh, politically speaking, uh, because um, once you do enumeration, what they call the lineation of constituencies, um, you can now delineate because people move from one place to the other over a period of time. So you might have a situation, for instance, say in Lagos, uh, the last time when it was done, maybe they were supposed to have nine House of Reps members. Since then, more people have moved into Lagos. So therefore, if a delineation, if an enumeration is done, then they can delineate new constituencies and create more representation in certain areas, in other areas, it may reduce. Uh, it has its own political usefulness. But within the context of Nigerian reality, um, we all know that um, there is a trend which 
has always led our census to be so controversial. The last acceptable census in Nigeria, um, which was not in any um, controversy, was the 1963 census. Since then, it has always been one manipulation after the other, one suspicion after the other. Uh, for instance, um, uh, let me give you a good example. Nigeria is the only country in the whole world where there are more people in the bushes, you know, in the, in, 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 in um, the certified areas than in the coastal areas. It runs against the, you know, the currency of thinking, currency of movement, migration anywhere in the whole world. Mm. So, and how does this happen? It's not the physical thing. You only need to go and stay in Baga or stay in some water. You see how many trucks of people are moving into the girls on a daily basis, you know, carrying passengers and dropping people off and all that. And many of them are not going back. Whereas, when you see that, or when you see the census, the figures you will have will be totally different. You know, so it's quite um, a very difficult situation. But we can surmount this problem by using technology and ensuring that, you know, everybody has NIN. Once we have NIN, you'll be captured on the system. Then we need to integrate the whole system in a way that it will be easier for any government, including authorities like Nigerian Police Force, EFCC, and others, to easily access information uh, without violating uh, people's privacy, but access information particularly when crimes are committed. Let's talk about um, some other bits of politics, and it may not be directly elections, but um, many have queried that this is the second time the census is being postponed um, in um, how many years? Now, they're saying that the results of this census, if it were to be conducted, and now it's not being conducted, might affect the all-sharing revenues. Um, it might affect political representation amongst the 36 states of the Federation and the 300 ethnic groups um, you know, uh, across the country. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, especially the first bit, which is the sharing formula, especially for the all-revenues? Mr. Shomi, I'm just going to let you just, you know, give us your finishing thoughts before we go. So the bottom line is, um, no matter what we do currently, we need to rebuild trust in government. And that will be a challenge for the incoming administration. Um, they have to, we have to regain the trust of our own people. Uh, we found ourselves in a situation where government initiatives are often run into a crisis of um, trust. And you cannot blame the people because they have seen so many examples of how the system, you know, uh, became um, uh, 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 banalized, you know, by those people who are supposed to make it very interesting for them. Um, a good example is the last uh, currency swap, which created so many problems for people. So I think it's good for the federal government, uh, the Paris government, to postpone it. Allow the new government to settle down, gain the trust of the people uh, before okay. think about what they are trying to do, okay. whether it is appropriate to go home with the current uh, technology combined with um, physical right. counting or whether we need to really look at another means of conducting the census. Uh, that would be, uh, uh, that is the ideal thing and All I'm right. glad the government you know, has chosen to leave that for the new government. All right, we want to say thank you. Better show me is a political analyst and a veteran journalist. Thank you so much for speaking with us on this issue. And that's it on the show tonight. I want to say thank you to you all for watching. In case you want to play catch up, just go to our YouTube page, Plus TV Africa or Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Mary Anacone. Have a good evening. Happy May Day.